Oh, of United League Europe 3x3, we've never had Novi Sad and Team Nederlands uh, this season. Oh, we did, we did, yeah. Team Nederlands won the first stage, winning and Novi Sad in the final. Yes, that's the repeat of the second uh, round two final. That's also the repeat of Doha Masters final. Uh, so these two teams, they're everywhere in the finals. Uh, Team Novi Sad with the ball. Marko Milakovic to Dusan Bullet one on one. Good D by Ford, but Bullet gets the shot and misses it. Arvin Slachter, he's with the ball, uh, having Julian Yaring right beside him. He could buy the bucket from distance, and it's a new attack for Novi Sad. Dugi standing in the post, getting it to Milakovic, and over Jesse Forn. We have the first points of the final, and they are on Marko Milakovic. Marko Milakovic throws the first blood. Jesse Forn, Marko Milakovic against him. Good D. They don't want Forn to score. Two Slachter instead goes for the two pointer. No good bullet with the ball. Bullet inside against Forn. What is he gonna do? A few rolls over, and he uh, puts the buck, uh, puts the Wilson inside the rim. It's three to nothing. Novi Sad are up. Slaughter for two. No, it's a pass to Jesse Forn. He cannot connect, but uh, Julian Yarin was close to getting that uh, rebound. No good, Milakovic, and that's fall number one in this game. That's on Team NL. If you don't remember, we had a crazy semi-finals. Riga and Novi Sad, where Novi Sad beat Riga just in the final seconds and both teams were far away from 21. Team Nederlands had a pretty easy semi-final versus the Lithuanians, 21 to 11. What a pass! Oh, that should have been an end one and that could have been one of the top moments of the stage, could have become actually one of the fanciest assists of the season uh, because they and Janic. Yeah, Dan Janic just made a behind-the-back pass to Dusan Bullet. He was just a few centimeters short of an end one attempt. Four to nothing after that free throw team, and they'll need to wake up. This is how you get accepted to Novi Sad behind the back passes. If you can do it, you can join the team. Slaughter with the drive, kick to Kovacevic. The OG doesn't make it. Yaring with the board. Again, back to Kovacevic. Slaughter. And he drives against Bullet. Uh, that's foul down low. That's a good foul by uh, Dushan Bullet. Dushan uh, just, you know, he looked like a dog here that was biting his victim. He was just, you know, uh, fouling desperately not to put his opponent into the shooting action. And it's uh, team foul number one for Novi Sad, Jesse Forn. They have one person more in this attack because one of them just fell down and Julian Yaring missed an open two-pointer. Still no points for Team Nederlands in this game. Two minutes already in action and it's going to be Novi Sad possession. They're asking for a foul, but I'm not sure there was any. So Novi Sad will keep possession with 3.4 on the shot clock, Evgeny Ostrovsky and Anna Miroshnichenko refereeing this game. Dejan Janic to Bullet. The second, only one Ford. second to shoot. Turn around jumper, no good. He didn't get it on time anyways. And he, he, didn't starts, know. he starts discussing stuff with the refs. Yeah, he should have looked at the shot clock because he was looking at his partners and uh, I think he was asking something like, why didn't you help me? Because he just didn't have enough time to convert that fadeaway jumper. Such a great defense by Novi Sad so far on JC Ford Bullard. And uh, JC Ford uh, played a little bit of defense off his own. Off his own. And uh, Jesse Ford is going to yeah. have a first 12 seconds with Team Nederlands. Maxim Kavacevic hanging it off to Arvin Slachter. Still no points for the Dutch side. Yeah. Zero points in two and a half minutes. Yeah, but they cannot keep missing Janic. Great drive there and Janic uh, makes it 5-0. I'm sure they'll score at some point. Max Kavacevic, here we go. And uh, they're down by three. Milakovic against Forn. Dan Janic uh, denied by Kovacevic, Janic for two, no good, Max Kovacevic gets the board. And he's looking for Jesse Forn straight away, that could have been a travel violation, but no whistle from the referees, Arvin Slacker finally, Team Nederlands get a field goal. 
from inside. That was a foul in the act of shooting, but Arvin Slachter is trying to have an argument with Anna Miroshnichenka and tell her that the foul was before Milakovic was in the act of shooting, but it's not. So team foul number three for the Dutch side and Novi Sad up by three after that free throw from Marko Milakovic. Getting, oh, he lost the handle, but already it's, it's already technical was it was it a warning no it wasn't a warning it was a tech but i think i think he deserved a warning first <laughs> that's a great way to make an outcome yeah. okay guys uh, no more out. arguments <laughs> tv timeout a big shout out to our partners Rosenergatam, Leningrad Nuclear Power Plant, Bank Ural Sip, Sweet Logistics, FIBA 3x3, and the Russian Basketball Feder Federation for the contribution and development of 3x3 basketball in Russia and Europe. I think Dushan Bullet and his squad are trying to explain to the refs that, yo, why wouldn't you just warn us? Why would you give a tech straight away? Interesting that instead of uh, resting actually during this post, during this TV timeout, uh, the Novi Sad team was arguing and uh, they were not seated at all. So, uh, some advantage here for Team NL. Slaughter converts the technical two point game, 6 57 on the shot clock. Slaughter, Warren. Uh, great deep by Novi Sad steal on Jesse Forn. Just no looks for Jesse Forn. He has to drive it. Stop. And it's Yari with a two pointer. A rare two point shot from Julian, and he ties the score at six with an awful start. Team Netherlands come back and they're in the game. This is not going to count. That was before the active shooting, so this is team foul number four for Team Netherlands and uh, we'll have a fresh 12 second attack which is started by Marko Milakovic. 6.35 to go here as Bullet screens Milakovic. Milakovic hesitation move, two pointer, no good. And uh, Team NL, uh, they play a better defense on Novi Sad comparing to the very beginning of this game. And uh, Team NL will have possession. Max Kovacevic, he knows those guys so well. Yeah, it could probably be even personal for him. You know, if you watch the last dance with Michael Jordan, about Michael Jordan, uh, it, he took loads of things personal. And uh, probably Max Kovacevic does the same here in the final because he's Serbian, but he plays for Team Amsterdam in the Netherlands. There's a new uh, documentary coming on Max Kovacevic as well. It's called Last Dance by OG. <laughs> the the gangster's old, but the dance is not the last one. Novi Sad up by two after that two pointer. So mm, Team NL are trying to battle their way through to the rim. No chance of doing that. Wow. Last second attempt, and the goal, uh, the ball goes out of bounds. And did Yaring heroically save the possession for his team? Yeah, but it's only seven tenths of a second. And as you know, if it's less than one second, it's pretty much likely we're going to have a shot clock violation. Yes, we will have another one here. No? No. Uh, he did get it on time. He gets the board. Slaughter. It does count. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Because I think, personally me, I think Jesse Ford didn't make it on time. Yeah, me neither. But I was going to say... The effort by Julian Yarin, this is what we love about 3x3, so much hustle, so much energy, uh, just love this game. And Jesse Forn is laughing, uh, going beside Dushan Bullet. I think he understands that he didn't make it on time. Because, to be honest, if he took the ball in his hands and just flushed it straight away, that would be one thing. But here, he took the ball, he also moved right, and then, all, then only then he made the fadeaway jumper, and I, I think that wasn't on time. Slaughter, uh, that's an easy layup, but does it count? I'm not sure. Evgeny Ostrovsky, and um, are you going to help him to decide? Yeah, yeah I think you are. <laughs> Uh, Piotr Buyinski always the first uh, in terms of uh, consulting the refs. Uh, you can see his back, you can also see Evgeny Ostrovsky. Uh, Piotr is going to tell us everything right now. Yeah, I was confused actually. They're not watching the two-point attempt by Jesse Forn. They're watching that one-point attempt by Arvin Slachter. So whether he stepped out of bounds. Step back and shot the
That's a little bit of Dushin Bowler in our broadcast as well. He's telling there is no way JC Foreign got that shot on time, but they're not watching it. And uh, Evgeny Ostrovsky is telling him, chillax, man. So that one pointer is good, and he wants to sub him out. <laughs> so Evgeny Ostrovsky. Why? <laughs> just, just telling him. Is he the coach? You, 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 you need to calm down, man. Just relax. Milakovic. <laughs> Milakovic trying to drive. Nice foul by Kavacevic. Really smart one. Team foul number five for Team Nederlands. And um, that's pretty much it. One more foul to give for the Dutch side. Ooh. Oh, stupid mistake. And Marko Milakovic. He was just, I don't know. He just donated that air ball to the the Dutch squad he could easily make the score 10 to 7 but he didn't even touch the rim Max Kovacevic again on the mission never smiles on the court Arvin Slachter with the ball two-pointer bad spacing for Team NL but again Novi Sad forces so difficult shots from Team NL then Janic with the drive no good Yarin gets the board he's all alone he's not gonna shoot Slachter Slachter trying to find any means to get to the bucket. He does it through the step back. Two-pointer good. And Arvin Slachter looks like the MVP of this stage for Team Nederlands. Uh, sealing crucial shots of the third stage of United League Europe 3 x3. Team NL in front for the first time in this game. They would down 5 to nil. And uh, Arvin Slachter with a drive against Dan Janic. Watch out. No good. Uh, again, good D by uh, the Serbs. Dugi with the rebound, it's Marko Milakovic. And uh, this is a foul on Team Nederlands, Arvin Slachter. And unfortunately for them, this is going to be team foul number... Uh, no, it's not team foul number seven, it's still the sixth one. So they put Novi Sad in the bonus with that collision. And the Serbs are in the attack. Dusan Bullet trying to find a way to the basket. And that's an easy bucket. 9-0, Yarek with the ball, it's uh, 4-20 left in this game, actually the first half of this game went by so quickly, it's an offensive foul, it's foul number 7 on Team NL, it's not a shooting foul, Milakovic is uh, just sitting on the court trying to get up, I think his knee hurts. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. Was, that was a tough collision with the Dutchman, and it looks like uh, his right knee isn't ready isn't ready to continue the game did he get a he, he obviously he wants to do it but yeah, he can he cannot even walk he's hobbling he's hobbling and uh he's uh subbed out uh novi Sad will have the ball will they have uh marco milakovic did he get a moose uh whatever <laughs> Then Janic, uh, pull it for two, it's good! Novisad in front, 11 to 9, and that's ball to Novisad, great D by Duke. Uh, Kavacevic is very upset with this call. Yeah, phenomenal understanding of the game from Marko Dugosia here, kicking the ball out of bounds, gaining the possession for the Serbian side. Dusan, pull it, step back, but he goes inside once again. That was an easy bucket for Mr. Bulletproof, but he couldn't buy it. And uh, heroical save by Dejan Janic, driving through the baseline and Great missing effort it. by Janic, he gets an offensive board as well. He couldn't make it. Janic to OG. OG for two. No good. And that's foul on Novi Sad. Uh, Duki says, Moja Greška. And My bad. TV timeout number two. A big shout out to our general partners, Rosenerga Atom Bank Ural Sib Leningrad Nuclear Power Plant, SV Logistic FIBA 3x3, and the Russian Basketball Federation for the contribution and the development of 3x3 basketball in Russia and Europe. A lot of time to play here, 344, but Team NL on seven fouls. Arvin Slachter goes one on one against Bullet. Good team. JC Ford finally gets a good look 
not a perfect look, not an open look, but at least a decent look, he cannot make it. He got a Jesse Foreign look, you know, any look is a good look for Jesse. He, he can hit absolutely crazy fadeaway jumpers. He proved that last stage, and he also sealed a few on this one. Dushan, Bullard, banks it in, and Novi Sad up by three, again, feeling comfortable. Kovacevic for two, the OG. They need those twos, Foreign with a drive, good D by Bullard. Layup is good though by Jason Ford. He's so long and athletic. Uh, Bullard now plays against Ford. Whoa, he Here was comes blocked. OG, the OG with the block. 13 10, Novi Sad again up by three, and this is going to be a foul. Unfortunately for Maxim Kovacevic and the whole Dutch squad. Uh, this could have... Ah, uh, no, I thought that's a foul on uh, Team Netherlands. Uh, sorry, Novi Sad, team foul number four, and the Dutch guys starting a fresh 12. Such a great team by Novi Sad again for uh, Kovacevic too. What a sidestep from OG Max Kovacevic. And uh, Dugi gives it up to Milakovic, rolls. And it goes out of bounds. Not Novi Sad possession. It's a possession for... Uh, yes, it is Novi Sad possession. Again, confused. Sorry for that. Uh, cannot point. see perfectly whose ball was that. That's Milakovic. Second to shoot. Oh, that was close. Slachter gets the rebound. And now Team Manel have a chance to come up with this distant shot. No. What a, what a jump by uh, Arvin. Uh, no, uh, Julian Yarek, and he gets the ball inside, 13-0. Marko Milakovic with a chance to put his team up by two. Looked like a foul in the active shooting, and he's looking at Evgeny Ostrovsky, the referee of this game, straight away. It was like waiting for the whistle, but it didn't come. I think, uh, I thought for a moment Ostrovsky is going to warn him. Uh, he could have. Uh, for flopping. Arvin Slachter up against Dugi inside to Yaring, foul number five on Novi Sad. Again, great defense by the Serbian side and only five fouls with two minutes to go in this game. 13 all, all to play for. I'm so impressed with Simon L actually. And Novi Sad as well, but it's kind of, uh, we take it for granted sometimes, Novi Sad. Yeah. But, you know, they're putting in uh, loads of power, loads of their health and uh, effort in this game. Marko Milakovic finally makes the distance shot. Novi Sad again up by two. They're in the lead of this game on the most of the minutes. And uh, now Novi Sad also puts themselves in the bonus, same as Team NL. And now all the fouls are going to be followed by two free throws. And we start with the bonus free throws right now and uh, it's Julian Julian Yaring if he makes them both he could he could tie the ball game at 15 oh we got the music a bit louder here in Radugamol let's party 130 to go here no time for party uh, for both sides Milakovic makes it he is just coming up as the main guy for Novi Sad in the dying moments of this game Jesse Ford drives Kicks to Yaring for two, and uh, Novi Sad just won Julian Yaring to keep those twos all day long. Uh, Max Kavacevic, 14th point for Team Netherlands. Dusan Bullet still five seconds. Marko Milakovic over Julian Yaring. No good. Team Anel can actually be in the game right now. Jesse Ford for the tie. 16 all and one minute left on the shot clock. Novi Sad with the ball, Dushan against Yaring, good tee by Julian Yaring, better offense, no good from Bullard and uh, Team Anel comes up with a big rebound, who's got the ball, it's uh, Team Novi Sad with possession here, 42 seconds to go, 16 all, both teams in the bonus, what a uh, crazy final time to be alive what a crazy final what a time to be alive man yeah uh thank god i'm not dead yet i still ha i still want to live at least 49 42.9 seconds in my life uh i'm gonna live for a bit longer because we have a timeout right here so what do you think guys please leave a comment 
and give us a like if you like what you're seeing. Please subscribe to FIBA 3x3 and United League Europe 3x3. Very easy. Just open your Instagram account and write ULE 3x3. ULE and 3x3 and you will be a blessed. You'll be blessed by Kota Kiki personally. They call him Jesus. Yeah, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna call say him bad Jesus. Uh, Bullet screened by Milakovic here against OG Kovacevic. Good D by Max. Bullet, no good. Bullet up by one is Novi Sad. 28 seconds left here. Max Kovacevic for the tie and one. And Max two. Stein, two, that's two foul number seven and Novi Sad. What a man, what a man is this guy. How do you do, Max Kovacevic? How are you doing? <laughs> Max Kovacevic, he still needs to make those twos. He's very consistent free pro shooter, but, but not this time. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Still has one more free throw. And then there is 23.6 seconds on the clock left plenty of time for anything to happen in this game actually okay so if team nl win the game they're gonna win the regular season if they don't it's gonna be a wrap and they have a chance to lose to riga in the final standing so who's gonna win it all here in the third one milakovic could have been the dagger but it's no good what a touch and it falls down Janic, the newcomer with a decisive shot possibly Kavacevic, great D by Janic. Kavacevic, four seconds, Janic. This is done. Novi Sad wins round three of the United League Europe. It should have happened someday and somehow. Hvala brate. Okay. Dusan Bullock, Marko Milakovic, Marko Dugosia, and then Janic conquered the third stage of United League Europe. 3x3, season three, stage three, and they will go into the grand finale on the 26th of April. We're gonna be in Booth Theater here in St. Petersburg. Whoa, what a season we had. And Novi Sad conquered the last stage of the regular season. They already had one loss in the final. They have been in the quarterfinal in the second stage, but you know, they never made it to the prize money, and they never won a stage this season. What a game! What a game we had just here! My goodness! Please leave a comment. What do you think? I hope loads of Serbians, people, Serbians are, are watching the broadcast right now. Just tell me what you think, guys. Oh, that was absolutely crazy! Loads of great moments. 18-17, Novi Sad winning this final matchup versus Team Nederlands and uh, finally getting a win in the regular season of United League Europe 3x3. Uh, Team Nederlands uh, really upset. They were fighting for the first place in the regular season. They are probably not going to do it. Depends on the points that Riga will get in uh, this season. So it looks like Riga um, is celebrating the first place in the standing and team Nederlands could be second. Novi Sad winning this stage will be uh, probably on the third spot, but we'll decide it and tell you later. Okay, we're ready for an interview. Dushan Bullet and Vladimir Dushan, Sivak. your rivalry with Team NL Amsterdam is just getting bigger and bigger. How crazy was this final today? It's always a pleasure to play against them, you know, the uh, team on the rise, you know, with a very good <laughs> the audience also enjoy as much as we did on the court. It's actually your first win as Novi Sad in a new roster. How happy are you with the win? Yeah, it's epic. It's epic. You know, we are back in a championship ways, so, you know, that's uh, that's uh, the place where we want to be. The new guy, Dejan Jancic, he had the decisive shot, great defense on the final possession. Could you talk about him? He's very gifted, very talented, very great perspective, uh, but also he has five and five careers, so, you know. Uh, we're just happy that uh, he finished the f first division and have an opportunity to grab him a little bit and to play with us. Karis Lasmanis just thanked you because you won Riga first in the overall standards. How excited are you about the final on the 26th in the theater? I'm excited because they're first at all. <laughs> but, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be great. I hope the final will be, you know, the, the best tournament yet. 
Thanks, Zushin. Congrats. Great job.